vote in Polk County is one of the most important counties along the I-4 corridor. So it really is troubling to hear that some folks have problems there today, Melissa. Well, that's right. Good evening, Keith. A couple reached out to us after they received their ballots with only Republican candidates. Well, talk about a voting flub. So we would have been turned away if we weren't um, forceful about it. When Teresa Weibert showed up to her registered polling location, and I looked down and it was only Republicans on the ballot. She asked a polling worker about it. She said it was a closed Republican primary and it was not for Democrats. It happened as the polls opened this morning at Precinct 321 in Polk County. A handful of Democratic voters were almost turned away. Not one person sitting at that table questioned the fact that there was no Democrat ballots on the table. But Weibert did. You know, we pushed it a little further. She called a few people. Lo and behold. In the bottom of the closet she found a box with the Democratic um, ballots on there and then they fixed it so we were able to vote for our candidate. News Channel 8 reached out to the Polk County Supervisor of Elections. Uh, we certainly have counseled the clerk of this precinct, but the truth is no voters returned to Ray. It was a mistake. It was an unfortunate mistake, but it was a human mistake and it got turned around immediately. And will this affect results in any way? I don't see how it could because nobody was turned away. Everybody had their right to vote. Weibert still feels uneasy about it. She called News Channel 8 to make sure the mistake didn't go unnoticed. And it doesn't happen again. We love News Channel 8. <laughs> and uh, we knew you would get to the bottom of it. As of now, the incident is still being looked into. We are told no one is in any trouble. Stacy. Right, Melissa Marino, live in Polk's count Polk County. Thank you.